Hey, it's Anna here, and uh, this is the first video with hashtag Sketchmas of 2021. Um, I figured I'd use December since, well, this is, the, this is the month of my beginning to introduce myself a little. Hence, the first video is, uh, well, myself. Thing is, I am planning to use a lot of my original characters as parts of the videos. So <clears throat> I'd love you to guy I'd love for you guys to know them a little, a little better. And the first one is obviously me <laughs> since I'd like to know you a little bit better so you can tell me about yourself in the comments and I'd like for you to know me a little bit better. For example, I was born in December, and not coincidentally, it is my favorite month, because it's the last month of the year, and um, everybody is so excited about, like, the new year, the new beginning, the new, like, you know, when you are really eager to start your diet on a Monday, uh, I feel the same excitement from everybody about the new year every year. Um, everybody wants to start a new life, uh, make lists of things they manage to do in the year that's ending, make a list of things of they want to do in the next year or books they want to read. And it's, it's that one month when everybody's so excited and so planning and so doing so many things. So I really love December, and um, that's not connected to me being born in it. That's just connected to the fact that that month is awesome, because everyone's feeling the Christmas spirit, the New Year spirit, the uh, the new life and new beginning spirit, the everything. It's like this year is ending, and um, everyone starts to reevaluate, and I find that really great in people. Uh, so. This month I turned 28. That's an interesting fact for you. I don't know if it's useful. I have been drawing for the last... Uh, forever? <laughs> uh, no, not forever. I think more or less professionally, I'm addressing my drawing career, let's call it that, for the past maybe five years. Five to six years. That's where I had my most growth. That's where I developed my original characters. Well, most of them. Uh, that's where I started. I started playing with Instagram. I tried doing YouTube for a bit. Well, back then it didn't really work out because I wasn't maybe motivated. Maybe now it helps because my art is digital and back then it was traditional. Uh, a lot of things changed throughout those five years. Not only did I grow older, which is obvious, uh, not only my characters uh, grew, well, more interesting for me, because uh, I love my characters growing with me, they change. Like, you will see that my original character, uh, even now in the video, you can obviously notice that it changed a little bit from the avatar I have on the channel. Because uh, as a person, I love changing my hair color and my hairstyle. So obviously my original character, as of Anna, uh, will change quite a bit more than the rest of them. Visually, I mean. Character-wise, they're pretty done. Uh, meaning that I do treat them as... I don't want to say as human beings. But for me, my characters are sort of my children, and I kind of let them evolve organically. So you will see Lou, uh, one of my earliest, earliest characters. Uh, she grew into a uh, humanish being from being a mermaid being. Um, well, not mermaid, they are called lionfish, but I'll tell you that in the video with Lou, obviously. It's coming within these days. Um... Well, they develop their characters as uh, I grow, they grow, etc., etc. Uh, in regards to Sketchmas, until 
Christmas, obviously, you'll see 12 videos with my original characters, their stories, their perks, like my story with them, let's say. And uh, I'd really love if you like them. Mm. But yeah, I'm supposed to tell you about myself, I guess. <laughs> not not only my age and my original characters and sketchmas and shit. Um, well, I don't even know. Like, what can be interesting about a human being uh, as a character? I mean, obviously my character is going to be clumsy and cynical. Because uh, <laughs> that's, that's about it, about me. Well, my sense of humor is terrible. Um... Aside from that, she'll probably appear in more free freelance-related Anna talks. Because I really want them to be a part of my channel. I really want to... Because it's been around a year that I'm seriously doing a freelance journey. I have evolved quite a bit. And I want to do quite a few videos on that sense, which will be part of Anna talks playlists. Because I'll talk a lot and it won't really be related to the artwork in the video. Um, or maybe it will be... I don't promise full-blown animation, but I'll try my best to make them fun. To, to, to see as much as to listen to. Well, yeah, so I'd like to share that on the channel, obviously. And I'd like to share... Um, the journeys uh, of my original characters on the channel. And overall, the reason I made the channel is because... Um, I don't know. I, I mean, not that I don't know why I made the channel. I know, but I don't know how to word it not to sound childish. Because for me, uh, another attempt at a YouTube channel, at an English YouTube channel which is very new for me, trust me. Um, it's more about meeting people and creating a community around the stories I want to tell rather than, um, I don't know, ma making something fancy out of it. Like, I don't promise you uh, very fancy um, production material. But I promise you a friend w whom you can drink a coffee or a tea with and who will give you a little bit of little bits of advices here and there about um, trying out freelance as a side gig, trying out freelance as a full blown profession uh, as an artist in 2021 and 2022 and so on and so on. Uh, for now, I'm planning to do quite a few videos on um, the ways you can monetize your art. The um, Obviously, I'll go into NFTs as well as a big portion of digital art right now, really developing. And, um, well, I'll obviously be asking you guys, like, what do you want to see? and which characters you want involved. Um, I'll also be telling you about stuff like Redbubble, because I, um, I play with that as well. Basically, I like playing with new stuff that has potential of um, monetizing my art. And I don't want to sound really, um, really bad, but I do believe that uh, if, you, if you can make money with your art it gives you more freedom as an artist i will also talk about um, passive income as an artist i will talk about active income as an artist and uh, i do truly believe that those can go side by side and should go side by side so you could always step back when you're not feeling right and uh, just dedicate yourself to your own projects, which is also very important for me. So yeah, I do feel like I didn't really talk about myself, but at the same time, I gave you a very clear picture of who I am. Mm. Side note, I'm crazy. <laughs> but I do think most artists and most people in general are a little bit crazy here and there. So that's that. Uh, I'm Anna, 
you will find uh, all the sketch must all the sketch must artworks will be available on my Redbubble on several merchandises obviously the day that each video comes out some days we'll have more than one video cuz i'm already late cuz hey i'm a freelancing artist <laughs> and sometimes there's just too much work mm, i can't promise a schedule right now but i do promise to produce as much as i can video wise cuz i have a lot of stuff to tell you and um a lot of stuff to share so yeah See you, and uh, you can find me, obviously, my on my life accounts, which will be listed in the sub, 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 details, yes, in the details down below. Say hi to me in the comments as well. Nice meeting you.